I'm talking today to Kids Life Coach Naomi Richards. Hi, Naomi. How are you? I'm fine. How are you, Joanne? Very well, thank you. Naomi, today we're talking about um, divorce and separation. When parents divorce or separate, what or, or, or what should they tell their children? I think they need to give, tell their children the bare facts, really. They need to sit down together. Um, the best place, really, is somewhere like home, where they say, explain the situation. Why is mum and dad separating? What is what it means for the child? Um, what's going to happen in the future? And just what's going to happen right now? And that can be, um, it has to be age appropriate for the child so that the child understands. It can't be too much information because, you know, you don't want to bombard them with too much. You know, it's enough that they're hearing from both of you that mum and dad aren't going to be living in the same house together. Um, so I think you need to be really, really clear what's going to happen right now and what could possibly happen in the future and your reasons why, why you're just, why you have decided to separate. Um, and I guess that, that's just the starting point. You know, be there to, to answer your child's questions after you've explained what's going to happen. What is the most important thing to know about children's needs when going through a divorce? I think you need to, I suppose, give the child a little bit of, 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 of leeway, really, and let them, you know, kind of come to you with questions that they have uh, and talk to you about what they're feeling, their emotional feelings are. Um, I think you need to try and, you know, be, be there for your child and make them feel safe and secure because one of the ch things that children don't feel is secure. You know, their world has been rocked. You know, they used to be part of a family unit which used to, you know, included mum and dad together. Um, and now it's kind of like, well, what's going to happen to me? You know, am I going to have to change school? What's going to happen to my friends? Am I still going to have sleepovers? When am I going to see dad? What happens when I stay at his house? Am I going to have my own things? You know. Mum, are you going to have to work? What does that mean for me? Does that mean somebody else is going to look after me? There are hundreds and hundreds of questions, and it is just about trying to keep things as much as possible the same for the child. And when so often the child ends up thinking it's his or her fault, what can I tell my child? When they think it's their fault, you know what? It's, it's not their fault, you know, this is about a relationship, a different relationship. Mum and dad have a different relationship to mum and the child and the father and the child. It's different, you know. Um, it's it, depending again on the, on, on the age of the child, you know. Um, you're going to get different responses. You know, a younger child may think it's all their fault, you know, if only they'd behave better at school, you know. Um, for instance, you know, and an older child would just be really angry that, you know, this has happened to them and possibly side with one of the parents. You know, actually, mum, it's your fault that this happened. You know, you weren't doing this. Um, so it just depends on the age. What are some post-divorce mistakes that parents should look to avoid? Um... I think communication is probably one of them. Um, I think bad communication, you know, parents need to try and work together and they need to make it as seamless as possible for the children. So when you've got things like handover, it's about being polite to each other. It's about not starting talking about, um, you know, court stuff. Um, on the doorstep, when you're kind of, when the ch child is going between the two of you. Um, I think Communication is a really, really big thing. Um, you know, if you can't communicate face to face, then you know maybe you should be using email um, or, or, or another way. Maybe you should, you know, have some kind of mediator to try to try and to help you communicate better. Um, I think that, um, and I also think understanding that there are some things that really need to try and stay the same. Unfortunately, when parents split. You know, a child will, get, will be living with mum or dad and they'll have a certain amount of rules and types of rules and then unfortunately they go to the other parent and the rules and the boundaries are just not the same. So, you know, how are we going to parent? How are we going to parent this child? What can we do that's similar? 
you know, rather than have a child, you know, that when they stay with you, it's at 7.30, and when they go to the other parent, they're allowed to stay up till 10.30. You know, what, what are they, how are they being treated? You know, there needs to be some, some kind of similarity between how you're bringing up the child, regardless of what house they're in. If I'm finding that my child is becoming particularly needy or demanding, should I be feeling guilty and giving in to these needs and demands? It depends what they are. But mum, you know, you split out with dad and I need the Xbox and I need a new PX, blah, 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 blah. No, don't give in. Okay, this is about, um, this is about giving something else. This is about giving time. And it's about doing nice things that your child wants to do. You know, I'm not talking about anything expensive, but it's about just time, you know. Let's go into the kitchen and let's bake a cake together or let's make ice cream or, you know, let's go out for milkshake or, or whatever it is. You know, I think it's just about supporting them and talking to them and reassuring them. You know, you've got to be, you, you need to be that kind of listening ear for them. You know, I think that we shouldn't, we, we can't feel guilty. This is something that, you know, in, in, it's, it's different for every parent, but, you know, if it's been given a lot of consideration and the parents have split and there is no going forward, then you, you, you can't feel guilty. You, you can't really buy them things to replace what? The other parents. It's not up there on my list. <laughs> Thank you, Ernie. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Okay, thanks, Joanne.